Hi everyone, welcome to Jab's Knowledge Hub. Our today's topic is about Ansu. Ansu scholarship is offered by China. Ansu stands for Alliance of International Science Organization. This is one of the highest paid scholarship in China. And you can say that this is a highly paid scholarship in China. We'll discuss the details of this scholarship. Let's talk about the key points of this video. We'll talk about Ansu. What is Ansu? And the general conditions for Ansu scholarship program. And after that, we'll discuss about the step point with respect to master degree as well as PhD degree programs and then we are going to talk about the universities, the affiliated universities under this program and of course I am going to tell you about the total number of scholarships and at the end we will discuss about how to apply. Also, is actually an organization, non-profit organization. This is also not a government-based organization. This organization was founded in 2018. There are about 37 scientific institutes and universities affiliated with this organization. This scholarship program is entirely for international community, non-Chinese citizens. And here are the general conditions about who can apply. As I have already mentioned, anyone can apply from any nationality, from any country of the world, except Chinese. And degree level for this program are about master degree and for PhD programs. So you can't apply if you want to apply for bachelor degree, okay? And here is the age restrictions, 30 years for master degree and 35 years for PhD. This is different with CSE. CSE required 35 years for master and 40 for PhD. Here it's about step on. For master degree, it's about 3000 RMB. That is equal to the CSE scholarship. And for PhD, this is a huge gap. It's almost twice as the CSE scholarship. It's about 6,000 to 7,000 RMB. Here are the universities under this program. There are only two universities. This is not similar to CSE. CSE offered for more than 470 universities of China offered. And here only two. University of Science and Technology of China, USTC. And the second university is University of Chinese Academy of Sciences, UCAS. So, here is a hint. You can only apply in one university at a time, okay? And acceptance letter is a necessary document, but not mandatory. You can apply without acceptance letter, but I prefer you to have acceptance letter prior to admission. Total number of scholarship for this program are about 500 every year and these are divided as 200 for master degree candidates and about 300 for PhD degree programs. Okay, and mostly UCAS University has more number of scholarship as compared to USTC every year. And let's talk about how to apply. This is actually a teamwork of three candidates. So I'm going to describe like how. There is first part, first member of this team is the you, student who has to apply. Next member is the professor. And I mean professor, your previous degree professor where you have completed your bachelor degree or master degree. And the third and most important one member of this teamwork is your supervisor who is going to supervise you during your next studies. And let's talk in detail about the first member, you, student, what you have to do. 
you have to get the acceptance letter before applying online for your degree and the faculty list is attached in the description of this video where you can find your program your department and can email to professors for acceptance letters okay and after that you have to apply online for scholarship as well as for admission on the university website this is your part and let's talk about the second member of this team second member is professors you actually need two recommendation letters so your professor has to do recommendations for you okay so this is actually online recommendation you have to put the details of your professors online on the website means you have to put the name email address and the affiliated institutes and then university will email your professor he has to submit online and let's talk about the third member of your team that is your supervisor your supervisor has only one job and that is an important job he has to send your acceptance letter to the iso iso stands for international student office so he has to send the acceptance letter to iso as well as you the same letter which he has sent you okay so you have to give him reminder too here are the deadlines this is from december to march every year and if we talk about this year the deadline for this year is about 31st march 2021 so now you have time please get ready okay let's apply for this scholarship this is a huge opportunity you can say that this is the highest paid scholarship good luck don't forget to apply thank you for listening me please subscribe my channel for more related videos i will be uploading i will be uploading more and more videos about scholarship programs and other opportunities please subscribe